conducted for the Paduton World War II, a POW camp and its neighbours project. My name is Rachel Kelly and the respondent's name is Anna Webster. This is the 19th of July 2019 and the interview is taking place at Anna's daughter's house in Gifnick. Thank you very much for agreeing to be interviewed for the project, Anna. Um, could I com please confirm your name? Anna Webster. So, Anna, could I please ask your um, year of birth? 29. Whereabouts were you born, please? Pollock Shores. And whereabouts were you brought up? Pollock Shores. So we're going to ask you some general questions about the Second World War, if that's okay now, Anna. Um, do you remember the war, the beginning of the war being announced? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Well, I remember people were waiting and, you know, talking about waiting here. And I remember coming home from school and my mother was at the sink washing dishes or something. And I said, Mum, is there going to be a war? And she went, yes. And I felt pleased because I thought you didn't go to school if there was a war. <laughs> I felt quite pleased, you know, at this. That, that I, I imagine you were going to school when I think that now, you know. Did, did you have a gas mask? Oh, I often wondered everybody had a gas mask. Where, where did they get the gas mask? You know, at the very beginning of the war, they had gas masks and they had to, for the babies, they had this big, they had to put a baby in, you know. You wonder where they came from at the very beginning of the war. We used to sit in school at the very beginning, we sat in school with the gas masks over our shoulder, you know, but then once things, kind of, you get used to it, you didn't take the gas masks to school, you know. But at the beginning you sat with your own in the, the seat in the classroom, you know. And did you find that frightening or...? I well, it's scary, uh huh. Do you remember the planes going over? Uh huh. Can you tell us about that? Well, it's just it's, the sirens went, you know. I think maybe I've heard the plane then, but but I remember the swings one time, Tilly swings, and we're on the maypole. And we were a plane and we always imagined it was German for the noise because they always said that they made, made a different noise, you know. And I remember that it was on the Maypole and we are going, is that a German pla plane, you know, when you think that now. But uh, it just passed and that, it was making a kind of different noise for an unusual plane. I think that's what put the idea in it was head that it was German, you know, but it just passed over and that was it. <laughs> Did you um, go into the air raid shelters? Oh, aye, all the time, uh -huh. What was that like? Well, I remember one, the, the first air raid, air, air raid shelter, when I think it now, was under a railway at Pollock Shaw's West. And it was underneath a railway. You know, this, when you think it now, the worst place you could have went. But uh, then we, we went to, there were a factory donors and filers beside us. And you could go to the air, air raid shelter at night, as long as it was at night. You know, and they had bunk beds in it. And so this was great, bunk beds. <laughs> And uh, so we went there to donate the Fila shelters. And then they built shelters where we lived. They built shelters just across the road. And we used to go there as well, you know. And can you describe the shelters? Uh-huh. Well, these shelters that they built across were just brick, brick shelters, you know, with one door in it. and. Nothing in it, you know. The building must have been seats because you saw it. But it was just a square building. There were two, you know, in a piece How of square often ground. How did you in there? Uh, but it's quite a 
there might be three or four times in, in these shelters because they were kind of later on, you know. Donna St. Filer's shelters, I think, were in there a couple of times. And then the one underneath the railway, we were only in it at once. What did you do when you were in the shelters? Just sat and played. You know, you sat with your mum. My dad never went, he stayed in his bed. Uh, but my mum, my sister, and I went, and you just sat and played with the neighbours. And I mean, when you're young, you quite enjoyed it. <laughs> Even though you were scared, but you enjoyed listening to adults talking and, you know. Um, can you remember the sweeties that you got? Sweet, so, well, they were in rations, right enough. Uh, well, I was always a great one for licorice, so I, was, I loved licorice. And uh, I just can't even remember what else. Caramels. I remember that. I just the usual. Can you tell us about um, rationing, what that was like? Oh, my. It was the uh, ration books. And they all just, uh, I remember uh, my sister got married. Her husband came from overseas and she got married and she just stayed with my mum and dad and in a roomy kitchen and so I had to go and stay in Susan's house and I always remember taking my egg with me <laughs> take my egg with me for the morning you know because you, you hardly can get eggs <laughs> I remember that during roughly which years do you have recollections of the camp I'm trying to think when the war started. 1939. 1939. Well, it'd be 1941. Okay. And um, was it Italian prisoners that you uh -huh. remember? And was that in 1941? Uh, no, maybe a couple of years later. Okay. Um, can you tell me anything you remember about the POWs? I just remember seeing them in the picture hall, the Avian picture hall in Thorny Bank. They used to and my baby was sitting beside you. Um, and uh, what did their mood seem to be? No, no, I don't know. Okay, you know. Do you remember what they wore? No. No, I don't remember. It wasn't a uniform, you know, it wasn't an army uniform. But I just don't remember. Do you remember other people, the, the general attitude of people towards the POWs at the time? Well, I, I worked in a factory in Pollock Shaw's and the girls, some of the girls used to go up to the, the camp and stand outside and talk through the, the wire, you know. I um, remember that. So what factory was that? That was D&H Cones in Pollock Shaw's. And roughly what year was that, please? That would be three years after the war started. When did the war start? 1939. So. 1939. Now that would be maybe about 1941 too. Okay. Um, do you remember... Did you ever go down to the camp yourself? No. Do you remember... Um, I passed it once. I, I remember passing it once. Can you tell but us your memories of that? No, just uh, just seeing the wire and you know. Do, do you remember seeing any? Well, that's what I was going to say. I don't remember seeing any prisoners actually standing about. You know, it was really just in the picture hall that I actually seen the prisoners of war. And how did you feel yourself about the prisoners? Uh, well, you were young. You, you know, you didn't really... 
I don't know what I, I really saw it. I wouldn't have spoke to them by then, you know. I mean, and seeing them in the picture holes, I didn't think that was fair that they'd actually started it and, you know, and they were enjoying the selling the picture holes and other soldiers, British soldiers were still overseas fighting and getting killed, you know. You think of that, but then you're young, you, you know. And do you remember anybody else talking about that or...? No, not really. The girls that I worked beside used to visit them, you know, go up and stand and talk to them and they would maybe tell you what they said when they, when, you know, when you were in your work, you know, but... Do you know if any of the POWs married ladies from Thornley Bank? No. Or roundabout? No. I mean, would they have been allowed to do it, you know? I don't think that would have been allowed. But anyway, no, I never knew anything, they just... Do you remember the Germans when they came to the camp? No. I never knew that there was Germans in the camp. Do you, do you think that was kept quiet then, or...? I don't know, no, and I just never... I always just knew it was Italians. Never thought about that. <laughs> when did you start working in the factory? When I was fourteen. So what what was that like? Aye, ah, that was good. We just went on the Friday. We were in the playground in Pollock Shaw's Sir John Maxwell School and this girl come in to the playground, she says, Well I've started I'm leaving. we were only leaving that day of Friday. And she says, oh, I've got a job in Cohen's. And I says to my friend, Susan, I says, come, we'll go and see. So we went, and it was Susan's birthday on the Monday. She says, so I'm not going to start on the Monday because she was having a party. But here the woman that interviews us, was that scary looking? That she, <laughs> when she says, start on Monday, Susan never said a word. You know, she... And the, so we left school on the Friday and started school on the Monday. He started work in the Monday in a factory. Making what? And I was there to uh, get married. What, what did you make? In a gym, well, it was really gym tunics. That was really the main thing, but the skirts and skirts and gym tunics and yeah, I can't remember what else we made. But it was clothing anyway, you know. I left school at 14. And uh, I got married at 22. So, how long was that? Was in it 10 years? 12 years? 14 till I was 22. No, I didn't stop working when I got married, but I, uh, I stopped working when I fell pregnant. That was the... That was just a bit... Not that long after I got married. And was that usual that people would do that at that time? I would leave. Aye, uh, aye. So was it usually when they got married or usually when they had their, when they no, got pregnant? No, I usually when they get pregnant, I. Um, can you remember the end of the war? What you felt then? Uh-huh. Well, I remember them announcing the end of the war and we all went out in the streets and we went round, it was at night and all this, you know. We all marched round the streets and I always remember a woman and she had shown the shop and she couldn't have known her but it was the end of the war and she lifted the window and was shouting because we were making a noise, you know. <laughs> she couldn't have heard it was the end of the war and didn't know. And uh, so that was that. Well, that's, 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 that's
that's all the questions I right, have, yeah. unless okay. you can think of anything that I've missed. No, I don't think so. Well, thanks very much. <laughs> that's been really interesting. Thanks for inviting us here to okay. do this. It's lovely. Thank you, Anna. Right, okay. <laughs> Thank you.